choice, if we just do so, like for example, I am, what, the only Asian American here, I think by expanding our focus and speaking from personal experience, I think that there's definitely a lack of representation, especially in terms of minority. So because um, I am running for South Hall president, I think that I can usher in a new perspective as well as show that you know there is a lack of representation and this must be taken into consideration. But this is like one class out of like probably 40, I can, 50 town classes. I can tell you from personal experience that I have been the only Asian American in all of my communication classes that I have been in. So, I mean, if we just take into consideration that, if we look on the much greater scale in all of your classes, there's definitely a lack of representation. And I think that if anyone has the courage to say that there is no lack of representation within minorities in the communication department, then there must be a bigger issue at hand. Communications department here at Bowling Green. I think that a really good way to increase the amount of uh, minorities to participate would be getting our name out there and having that greater amount of visibility. For example, we can partner with different student organizations, including for foreign language clubs, the Latino Student Union. There are so many opportunities to get our voices out there. But another part of my platform that I was promoting was having greater extracurricular activities. And one of those would be having a keynote speaker come in, um, per se, every single month, um, allowing different professors as well as alumni come back and speak at these different meetings. Um, and even more, when we have the social media activism campaign towards reducing the, uh, the stigma regarding communication majors, alumni are more than welcome and actually encouraged to participate because I think that their voices within the, uh, the, within the campaign is actually going to have more power and more weight at certain points because we can see, like, look, they graduated from BGSU with a communication major, and look where they have gone today. So I think that alumni are definitely going to be a major role in uh, my platform today as well. So I understand that so there's a huge stigma associated with calm, and so what steps are you going to take to make sure people uh, don't believe that? Because the campaign, in order to really address what we do and put that out there um, towards the bullying Green community, so for example, Dr. H right now has the BG for Unity social right. media activism campaign and has received a large amount of support, not only within the communication department, but also on a much greater scale. So I think that as communication majors, we can launch a similar campaign and allow for individuals within the department to begin to speak up and say, you know, like, I am a communication major, but I plan to do this with my future. This is my career path, and I am going to do something with my career path. And I think just um, allowing for students within the department to directly speak up about it and finally say, you know, this is what I want to do, and I believe that I can do it, I think that our voices will make it powerful and make an impact within the Bowling Green focuses is going to help increase visibility on a national level because if we're going to have um, focus options such as sports communication um, such as rhetoric as well as health communication then on the domestic level we are then partnering with different aspects and different fields of career options including athletics including health so by doing so we are then putting communication on the domestic level and showing Americans as well as on the international level that communication must be valued visibility. Other than social media, do you have any other platforms to increase the visibility? Oh, absolutely. I think that we can definitely increase visibility by partnering up with different departments as well as um, different schools on campus. For example, currently um, I'm working as a tour guide in the admissions office. And going on these tours, most tour guides don't even know what South Hall is coming to stand for. So I think by partnering with admissions office, we can increase the amount of visibility within the communication department and help these prospective students understand what exactly our department stands for and what our values are. Um, just